Thank you for clicking on the video. Here today at Nerd Mimic, we are gonna do an unboxing of Unmatched. This is the Marvel Deadpool set. This came out in 2021, and it's a little hard to find. It just has a single figure, obviously, of Deadpool here. I believe there's another one, a small box set for Bruce Lee. If you find either this or that, you should definitely pick it up. A little hard to find, and certainly to become a collector's item. So Deadpool is a fan favorite, and it's definitely a favorite of the family here. You can sort of tell from the box, it's uh, obviously got a different design and art style compared to the other boxes. You can sort of see in the background here, there might be like a picture of a unicorn here. And basically Deadpool sort of drew a picture of himself, plastered it on top of this box. He took his uh, name tag, and obviously it's upside down. He took another picture that he drew of himself taped it to the side of the box. So he's sort of uh, breaking out of the box, I suppose, and decorating uh, his own box to make his own Deadpool set. So here you see him in a little tutu. On the top here, he got a little picture with the, the unicorn that he's riding. And the bottom box is just some uh, logos. And so, well, let's crack this uh, bad boy open. Before we crack open this box, hopefully you can share this video with others, and that certainly helped me out with this fledgling channel get started. I certainly would appreciate it. Thank you for listening to that, and let's get this box open. Always a thrill to open up a new board game, even if the small expansion pack like this. And of course, we'll check out all the components here. So the box is off, the lid is off, and we got his combat dial here. We got obviously his mask, and I guess he has 10 health. And so he's just a single uh, layer, doesn't have a resurrect or anything like that, like Electra. Got the miniature itself here, it's holding a bomb. That's a sassy pose. The base, I don't know if you could appreciate this on the camera. It's red, but it has some glitter to it, sparkles. You see that in the light there. That's pretty cool. And plastic pieces for the combat dial. And then, of course, his cards here. So his main card is uh, showing his melee attack, moves two, starting health is 10, as we saw in the combat dial. After your attack, Deadpool recovers one health. So, um, boy, it's gonna be tough to beat, I suppose, if he constantly heals automatically like that. Also, if your opponent's name, real name is Logan, all your attacks are plus five. So that's pretty funny, but, as you know, there's no Wolverine set, or at least yet. What were you expecting? Okay, so more jokes at the bottom here. Pretty cool. Let's get this uh, pack of cards open. Once again, always appreciate it that they put a little thread here. It makes it easier. All right. Melee card. All right, so here is his first card. It looks like a card of decks. That's pretty cool. Oh, each, all the cards look different. This is pretty exciting just to check out, even uh, if you're not playing it. So here is, uh, I'm assuming, attack three. You could boost this four, so that's pretty powerful. After combat, draw one card. This is attack of six. So that's a pretty strong attack. Hmm, Pinky Pooch phrase, underrated superheroes. Sort of making a comic book cover, I suppose. The X-Men logo here. This is a defensive two. I'm not wearing pants during combat. If this card isn't sleeved, its value is five after combat. If you are, if you're not wearing any pants, go put some on. All right, so a lot of breakthrough humor there. This is a defensive two. Eat me, immediately say eat me to your opponent. 
During combat, say eat me to your opponent. After combat, if you lose combat, say eat me to your opponent. Love it already. This is attack of two, gaze of stone. If you won the combat, deal eight damage to the opposing fighter. Wow. A faint card. Another faint card. Usually most decks have the same faint card. These are two different designs. That's pretty cool and two different values. This one has four. Super faint, this can't be canceled. Let's see, what does this say? Dr. Deadpool, a scheme card, faint. Tip your figure over, make a fainting noise, recover to health, reset your figure. Deadpool, call me. There's a telephone number here, or boost me. If your opponent's name is on this card, its value is four. After comma, your opponent writes their name on this card if it's not already there. So I don't know if I'll do that, but that can add a legacy feature, I suppose. Yeah, all these art designs are different. This is a spectacular set. All right, Chimichanga, and you know he loves to eat them. After combat, draw a card, recover one health. Deadpool, shuffle five cards from your discard pile into your deck. Recover one health, so that's pretty good. And you gotta put five of them into your uh, deck. So, as you know, if you run out of cards, you start to lose health, but this will mitigate that, and plus, he heals. After combat, look at your opponent's hand, recover one health. That's on top of his um, healing ability over here. Passwords. I've been hacked. Your opponent looks at your hand and chooses a card for you to discard. If found, please return to Wade Wilson. Let's see, this looks like a, he took over an ID of Scott Summers here. Put a little mustache on him and everything. You may play this card as a ranged attack. That's a little chimichanga here, chimichanga break. During combat, if there is food on the table, the value of this card is five instead. So maybe, you know, uh, obviously when you play this uh, a match game, it's uh, good to be knowledgeable of your deck and the opponent's deck. Who knows, maybe you sneak a snack on your table and make this uh, a value of five instead, huh? This is uh, zero. Timeout, timeout, timeout. Call timeout, look through your deck and pick a card you could play, discard this card and play, play, discard this card and play that one instead. All right, so I guess you look through your deck and play that card instead of this one. Switch your card. They are having an amazing buffet. The Hell Fire Club, it's like a business card. I really love the, the art on this, uh, on all these cards. After combat, recover two health. Then if you're at full health, take two damage. Another uh, playing card, property of Gamut, do not steal, Wade. Exploding card, during combat, if you, made, if you made an exploding noise when you reveal this card, the value of this card is four. Oh, my daughter would have a blast playing with this deck. This is another skin card, holy mackerel. Guess the name of the card in your opponent's hand. Your opponent must discard all cards with that name. Otherwise, they say go fish and draw a card. That might be uh, powerful too. I mean, you could say faint, or if you knew the name of the power cards of your opponent's deck, you could get them eliminated. Sweet. Move to a space in the yellowish zone, and move to a different space in the yellowish zone. This is another card, attack three. After combat, your opponent discards a card. If you won the combat, they discard two instead. 
Got a folded a bill here. After the game, if you won the game, your opponent buys you a drink. If you lost the game, you buy them a drink. Here is a receipt for an Emporium. After combat, move the opposing fire one space, just one. Push to teleport. After combat, draw uh, a card. And for my next move, that's him in the 2-2 two -two there. After combat, deal two damage to the opposing fighter or move your fighter up to three spaces. Here is a credit card looking um, play card, American Express. During combat, you may boost this card. Here is Hmm. Transit card, maybe for a subway, I suppose. Senior citizen, it says there. After combat, move to any space in your zone. Wow, look at this card. I am the insufferable Deadpool. I always get the last word. After combat, if you attack, deal one damage to the opposing fighter. All these uh, taunts there. Knuckleheads, this is attack of four. Stall time, glam eye, big guns, not funny. Let's see, after combat, if you won the combat, deal three damage to each opposing fighter adjacent to that opposing fighter. And here, work for hire, it's sort of like a receipt, I suppose, here. After combat, deal one damage to the opposing fire if you own the Deadpool image set. So this is pretty cool. I'm sure we'll get used to uh, playing these and like I said, you could skew the game by having food on the table or whatnot. That is all the cards there. So going back to the mini, definitely gotta get this uh, guy painted up. We gotta construct the dial. Once we construct the dial, once again, you're gonna put the cardboard beneath the plastic insert. That'll uh, keep the, uh, the plastic flush up to the top and the cards won't spill out. And of course, through the power of, of editing, we are gonna get this bad boy painted. And here's Deadpool all painted. It was a pretty fun sculpt to paint. Got this, once again, sassy, ridiculous pose there. He's holding this bomb. Obviously, there are different iterations of his costume, and I went with the red gloves, red uh, boots, uh, rather than the black version, as he's holding this bomb, and I wanted to have a nice black bomb there uh, to uh, be a main focal point there. Uh, you should also notice his base here is uh, fighting on a hardwood floor, probably a bachelor pad of his, I suppose. This uh, pants has heart-shaped little wells in there, so you could put uh, some pink wash in there. Makes it really easy to have a, a pink heart-shaped polka dot underpants there uh, on the floor. Got a pair of socks or a single sock, I suppose. Some clothes piled there. I guess he didn't do his laundry yet. So pretty fun sculpt to paint. Really cool. Once again, it gets, he has this uh, plastic uh, glittery base there. And let's put Deadpool back in this box. I have the dial constructed already. It's, uh, once again, having this mask, 10 health. All right, so that is the entire unboxing of Unmatched. So thank you for watching this unboxing of Unmatched Marvel Deadpool. This small little expansion set was really cool to paint the miniature and check out all the plethora of unique cards. I think it's very interesting that each card is unique. I've never seen that in any other set before. If there are other sets like this that have unique cards for each single card, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to check it out, maybe add it to my uh, library here. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone. Have a great night. Keep on adventuring out there.